Phase 4 of project assembly completed. If style was measured in my performance reports, yours would be something special. Regardless, saving the day is within our grasp, do not lose focus now. You must understand the weight on your shoulders, but you are not alone. I am here, and I know exactly what's at stake. This goes beyond Earth. Your actions will affect the universe at large. You might think I am exaggerating. Perhaps you will understand once you finish project assembly. Phase 5 awaits. I expect your best work. Thanks, Loud Ada. What's up, guys? Welcome to Satisfactory 1.0 Unlocked Series. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I have a plan. Uh, we all know how that comes out and how that works out. So bear with me. Uh, everything is unlocked. Absolutely everything. From electricity to everything and flying. Obviously, we are flying because magical powers. First thing I want to do is get a uh, coal generator system going. And I have a floor plan for that. I did math. Yep, you heard me. Math. <laughs> we'll see how well that goes. First things first, though. We're going to build a coal factory because there are nodes. There's one right here. One right here. Right here. I think there's four. Where did I see the fourth one? Uh, I could have sworn the other. There's one right here in the shadow. <clears throat> and I have a plan for 36 coal generators and... 16 water extractors. And it's going to go right here. That'll be our first factory. Uh, we're not going to need to worry, worry about hooking up electricity because I have it on. It's just on. Whatever machine I put down automatically has power. We, we will still hook up power lines just for the uh, immersion of the game, but I'm not going to worry about having to mess with the... Uh, what it the plant-based power, whatever the hell it's called. What is it called? Hold on, look. Uh, let's just look. Yeah, see, everything is unlocked. We have that Blueprint MK3. We need to dive into that, too. We will, eventually. Let's see, power... The biomass burner. We're not going to mess with this. We're going to start with the coal, and then we'll just work our way up and see what happens. But yeah, everything is unlocked. Double wall. What the hell is this thing? Functions like a power pole. Oh, that's cool. No more of these ugly ass things. Power pole MK3. And we'll figure that out. We also have MK6. 1200 resources a minute. <laughs> We're not going to have to worry about too much of anything, are we? We have the uh, conveyor lifts, also MK6. Got all this stuff. Pipeline pump which we're going to have to use. We'll just use the MK2. Because we're going to build vertical. 36 coal generators building vertical. All the piping. And splitters and mergers, which we need to... Nope, stop. Can we just take number two? There we go. Nailed it. Aced it. So we're going to do... This one on number one. Number two. Now this is way more than what we need for what we're doing, but with the coal generators, I'm not going to worry too much. <clears throat> excuse me. About how much coal is being fed in. I'd rather have it completely fully saturated. And then uh, we'll just underclock some of the water extractors because we're going to have more than necessary. Let's see. What else do I need to have on there? We need this. We need splitter. Nope. God damn it. Splitter goes on three. That's number two. We need the floor hole. We need the pipeline MK2. We need the junction. And the pump. And then we need the foundations, which we have a ton of foundations, too. You'll have to excuse my voice. I woke up and it was really... Well, you can hear it. It's kind of scratchy. Not sure what the hell's going on. I might have a chest cold of some form. <clears throat> um, let's see. What other flooring do we have? We 
We're not gonna worry too much about this right now. We just need the basic uh, foundation. We're gonna use the one meter foundation for this build. And you'll see why. Mostly because it looks better. We also have the walls. Tons and tons of walls. And the customers changed a bit too. Which is nice. Materials. Patterns. We have everything unlocked. So it's perfect. So we'll go through all this. When, when it's time to actually build the, the building. Right now we just need the foundations. So we can get everything set up. So we're going to put this on number 8. And then we need the architecture. It was this one. Let's put that on number 9. Yeah. I'm wondering if we should try this. I haven't tried this yet. I did mess around with this a little bit. Just so I can get a general idea on what some of this stuff does. I didn't mess around with everything, though. Keep in mind, I only have about 130 hours experience with this game, so I haven't seen probably 90% of it. Shit, I haven't even seen the whole map yet. But, we will. Anyway, we're going to start right here. And the uh, bottom floor is 10 by 14. But it needs to be... So we need to start with these because it, it needs to be underwater a little bit and this is going to be a trial and error thing because the water extractors need to be enough in the water to work but I want them to be level with the top foundation okay there we go so we're going to put this here just the test that may indeed be water try submerging your arm if it does not dissolve that will narrow down the range of possibilities or you could just pipe it to a coal-powered generator and see what happens. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ada. Much appreciated. All right, we need to build here. Let's see, is that out of the water? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, it is. It's out of the water. All right, I think this will work. It's not completely level, but I'd rather it facing down than up. So this is going to be just fine. This part isn't all that critical. So now we just do the base, bottom foundation, 10 by 14. And we'll probably start it, well, right where it's sitting, I guess. So we'll get that built, and then we'll work on the second floor, and then the third floor. And then we'll start putting the in, uh, installing the machines. Okay, that's what the first floor is going to look like. Exactly like that. And you'll see why here in, in, in a minute. All the... Water extractors, we're going to have four here, four there, and then four on the outside, all facing inward. Except for these. These face in. Yeah, actually, they all face in. Okay. <laughs> uh, right here, we're going to do the quarter walls. The half foundation. Just like that. Look at that. Looks great. Nice and symmetrical, I guess. Something like that. And we're going to do these. Goes five high. And we do another foundation on top of that. But first, we're going to do the extractors. It's just easier without that foundation there. And they need to be centered. These first couple I put down, the first uh, four I put down are going to be centered. So somewhere around this vicinity. Uh, there's one thing I forgot. I need to put these down so they have a place to sit. And they're going to be the same height all the way. We can remove them later.
So there's those. Now we do the same thing over here and on the outside. All right, so there's the bottom floor layout. It's where all the water extractors are. Everything's going to run in the same direction. So the tubing or piping is going to go this way and go up. Now we build the second story, which is 10 by 16 using the one meters. All right, there's our second story. This is where 18 coal generators are sitting. The placing of these isn't super critical, but I made the first one so it's the left side of the generator is centered on the second foundation in. And then we just go down. Interesting. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood their responsibility to humanity. Adjusting pioneer attitude metrics. Reminder, coal power generators require coal. So what I'm doing is I put it as close as it can go. And then two notches over. Just for that extra space. Okay, that's better. It doesn't have to be even on each side. This is the end. Nothing happens over here. Everything happens over here. So now we're just going to repeat the process. Looking good. All right, cool. So we got that done. Now we got to build up. Which is also 14 by 16, not 10 by 16. So this next one's going to be 14 by 16. So two more out on each side. That should be 10, right? Yeah. So we're going to take this. We got to build out to here and then go vertical. This distance, totally up to you. It doesn't really matter if there... As long as there's enough room... That's plenty. Actually, we don't even need that. <clears throat> we don't need this one. Yeah, it's fine. Same thing, all corners. So for this floor, it's a little bit different. It's going to be four deep right here. Plus a quarter wall. Or a quarter foundation. Half. Half foundation. So we're going to do the half foundation. This right here. Face it inward like that. Yep, right there. And then these are all just filled in with their one meter foundations all the way. And same thing on this side. All right, now we're going to set the other coal generators up. Um, preferably in line with those ones, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Really just depends on how you want to see it. So I think something like... Give yourself room up front. So maybe one notch behind... Right here. Yeah, something like that. And then two notches over. If you get the first one lined up just right, it should just be two notches over the entire time. Yeah, and then do the same thing over here. Just mirror it. And you guys, this is not a tutorial or how-to. I don't know how well this is actually going to perform. It's just a way to save space instead of having 36 of these things just flat all over the place we can build up a little bit and save a little bit of room not that not that room really matters i mean we got an entire map but if you're building in a tight location then this would be pretty handy all right same thing right here try to get it get it as even as you can And everything should be in line. Looks good. 
Yeah, that looks fine. Alright, next step, we're going to run some of this piping. Get it to where we need it. We can't lay all the piping down. We have to do the coal first, but I like to get the piping done. Actually, you know what? We could probably just do... The, uh, you know what? Let's do this. We need to do this first anyway. So... We're going to put this down... And then figure out where this needs to go. So about right here. Just like that. All the way down. All the way down that. And same thing down here. All the way down. Alright guys, there it is. We have... All the coal inlets set up and ready to go. They're ready to rock. Now we gotta run some of the plumbing. And in order to do that... So, here. Here's what's gonna happen. This row... No, the outside row... Goes to the top. This row is that one. And so on and so forth. The outside row to the top of this. So we're gonna run this tubing. But first, we need to make sure... We're gonna use the hole. The hole. The pipe line floor hole it's going all the way down but we need to make sure it's in line with this and not interfering with anything going down and it shouldn't and yeah, we have two full foundations so one two but we don't want to go like right up in there so I'm thinking probably maybe right here no we're gonna have to go in because we need room for the conveyor belts so we're going to go in, and it's in line, as long as it's in line with these. Probably right here. There should be enough room for the conveyors. I think that'll work. Yeah, this should be fine. Oh, actually, no, it's not going to be fine. It's going to clip with this. So I guess we got to move it in a little bit more. Not right there. Right on the corner. It might clip a little bit, but that's fine. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I can't go any further in, though, because it's going to start hitting these guys. Well, I don't know. Maybe we can. Let's see. So if I go... How about right here? Let's see how that looks. That should be fine. I think. Where is that going? Right here? I think that's good. We're about to find out. Because we just took it up right now. Alright, so we go pipe. Oh, we didn't need that there. Come down, we'll go... Let's see, that's centered. So if I go... That should work right there. We'll take these, and we're just going to line these up. So that's centered, right? Yeah. We don't want one on the last one. Are you guys backwards? No, you're not. Alright, you're fine. So 
we're gonna go just like that. It looks fine. That'll do just fine. Oh yeah, see, they're already running. Which is nice. Don't have to worry about trying to hook up biofuel to the damn thing. So that should be fine. We are going to need a pump, though. I don't think it's strong enough to um, run the pump on. Is that the MK2 one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. So that's what we're going to use. I'm wondering if I should put it down low. Maybe right here. Guess that's fine. What was that noise? So from there, we're gonna come up to that. Oh, what I do? That's not. That's not right. Damn it! All right, start over. Okay, maybe now that's good. That pumping water. Why do you not look like you're pumping water? I had it on backwards, didn't I? Yep. Is it straight now? Okay, now we're looking much better. Now we have to... Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy. Piece of cake. If, if snapping did not... And if snapping wasn't in the game, this would be awful. So we don't want one on the last. We're just gonna hook that up. Where's the center on this? Right here? Nice. Okay. Hey, water should be pumping. I don't know why it's not. What did I do wrong here? So it's pumping there. Yeah, we're not getting water past this point. All oh, those are working, so it must be in a connection problem right here. There we go. Now it's pumping. Are you pumping up here? Yep, everything works. I think. Uh, are you working? Kinda? What is stopping? What is going on here? I don't think it's got enough power. This pump, maybe. It needs to go lower. Let's see if that helps. I might have to put another pump in line. Yeah, I think so. 
kind of split the difference. See if that helps. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so we're going to have to do that too. That's just a lot of water to be pushing uphill. So we got a pump here and then a pump in line up there. And if I remember correctly, I think it needs to be 50 meters apart because they don't stack. So you can't put a pump, 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 pump all in a row because they're not going to stack. All right, cool. So we got that side done. Now I just got to do the same thing to all the rest of these. So we'll start on this side, get that done, and then we'll start on these. Look at that. Looking all nice and organized. I'm not sure why those look like that and these don't. I guess it doesn't matter. See, the same thing with those. I think the distance is just not proper. I wonder if I can change that. Let's see. I don't like that. No, nope, it's going to stay like that. Those are the only ones that are going to look like this. I think because these are further back. Uh, oh, I'm stuck. There we go. I'm not going to worry about that. They're fine. It's going to do what they need to do anyway, so... It is what it is. I'm not going to be... Pre and I don't understand why I can't rotate this thing. Alright, well, whatever. It's going right there. And same with this one. See, like, this one's rotated that way, and then these are like this. I don't know why. I don't like it, but... I'm not going to dig with it too much. Strange. It's working though. Why is it doing that? Super weird. And now it's not. That's super weird. Are these doing that? No, they're working. I wonder what this one's going to do. Not pump water. What the hell? Alright, I'm going to have to figure that out. Okay, now it's pumping. That was super strange. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I think we're going to need more pumps. Kind of struggling, isn't it? Oh, let's just put one in. So it looks good there, but it's kind of... struggling right here, so I'm thinking... One, two, three, four. Let's put one right here. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, nice and even. Nice and even. 
So this should be... Yeah, that's full. Headlift. Recommended max headlift, 50. So we need more. Is that what that's saying? Sixteen. I think we do need more. I wonder if... You know what? I'm going to put another one in line here real quick. Just to see if this is right. If I did that... Is that going to make it better? Sixteen. And five. That doesn't really do shit. I guess we'll find out when we turn everything on. Current amount in pipe, 20. That's full. Well, if everything does work, we should get 2,700 megawatts of power. But it's looking good. I guess now we need to hook up the uh, coal. Yeah, let's get started on the coal. I don't know how many nodes we're going to need. Maybe two. Because we're going to be using the... <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to use the MK3. 240 resources per minute. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So let's see. Eight. We're going to do the two meter. Here. There's this one. And wasn't there one down here? Are they all up here? One, two. No, they're all up here. You can use that one. And I guess we'll just use these two. You guys, straight mode is freaking amazing. It's so easy to build with this now. Alright, so we gotta run... These two down here. We're gonna use one side for this side, obviously, and then the other for this side. But I gotta get them up. Oh, well, and down. Alright, I figured it out, kinda. It's not super pretty, because I'm using... I'm using one meter wall, or a foundation, and then... Tracked it over here, and everything kinda went funk, uh, wonky. So that's a one meter, with a four meter foundation. And then this coral is affecting this, but it's still tracking, it's still bringing coal over. So that's just gonna have to look like that. Everything else seems to be fine. Now I'm going to figure out how to split this and make it go down and left, or down and then right, or right and then down. Either or, I gotta get one here and one down here. Same thing on this side. So I guess that's the plan. See if I can actually execute this plan. Alright, I think it's working. It's looking like it's working. Just gotta make sure this actually works. If that does, then great. Might have to lower that some, though. Let's see. It's gonna be a little bit wonky right here, but that's fine. I uh, no. Actually, that's flat. It looks fine. Do the same thing on this side. We're going to have to... I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, how am I going to make this work?
All right, so this is... I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. I just needed this here so I can get the... This thing. The conveyor lift attached somehow. Uh, if I can get it... Oh no, see, it's going backwards though. That's the problem. I can't get it to snap here. So I'm wondering. What if I did this? If I did. One more. Attach to this. I need it to be lined up with that one. I think that'll work. It's going to get removed anyway. It just needs to be there as a placeholder. That's fine. We don't want to mess with that one. So, this... Should work in theory, right? One more up, I think. Is that right? I don't know. And then this into here. This can be removed. So can that. And we go from this. There. That worked. Excellent. Okay. That stays there. Alright, cool. Organized. Look at all that. Totally or- Wait. Why are you all... ...beglumped? What the hell happened here? Is that just how it looks? I don't know, I guess. Let's hook it up. Let's see what happens. No, it's working. It's just kind of a weird graphical glitch, I guess. Alright, it's going to take a little while for these to saturate. We're going to do the same thing on this side, get all this set up, and we still have to do the bottom. We might have to possibly run a third one, I'm not sure. We're about to find out. Let's get the bottom hooked up. Everything right here should be fine. This should feed if it's hooked up right. Yep. Yeah, I suspect it'll probably take, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes for it to saturate. So I'll get all this done and then, um, bring you back when everything's saturated and then we'll see what happens. Turn everything on, I guess. Figure while that's saturating, we can finish the catwalk. That was always in the plan anyway. Everything down here looks good. It's all running. Looks great. Super organized. This is probably the best factory I've built to date. Doesn't say a whole lot about me, though. <laughs> Still looks pretty good, though. I like it. It's organized. Very organized. Okay, let's see. Catwalk. So on this, I wanted to do... I can't do a full one, because it wants to clip. So if I come here, you can see it clips. 
but we can do a quarter. Oh, that barely passes. All right, I keep calling it a quarter. It's not a quarter. It's a half foundation. And it doesn't clip, which is great. So we can do that. All the way down. Maybe we should do one down the middle. That might make more sense. And then another one on the other side. Basically make a full foundation. Yeah, that's cool. We'll do that. I like that. Nice. God, I hope this works. <laughs> I have not tested this out yet, so I don't know if the pumps are going to be strong enough to get the water up there continuously. Uh, looks like this side is now saturated. So now it's working on the bottom. And this one's also saturated. So as soon as we start seeing this happen, in theory, unless I forgot something, it should all work out. 120 a minute. So that's four... What is that? 480? And these use... 45 a minute. And we have... 9. So we do math. 45 times 9. It's 4 or 5. So we should have enough water pressure. Probably have to underclock one of these. But we'll see. As soon as I turn it on. These should be running right now. I'm not sure why they're not. Are they turned off? No connection. Connection to... What? To these, maybe? Probably. <laughs> it's not supposed to need. I, I have all the electricity and everything unlocked. So these should be running. No connection. Maybe they do need to be hooked up. Alright, well, I guess we're doing that. I think we'll try these little uh, wall connectors. It's supposed to go on a wall, but it looks like it'll snap on the foundation. Let's try that, see what happens. Okay. Holy crap. That took me a, a little while. I still haven't done the other side, but just a quick update on what I've done. So I put all those things on the floor right here, and they're daisy chained, each one, and then from here to here, and so on and so forth. So they're all connected to one line, which leads to here. Goes up, connects to here, and then these are all connected. The other one goes from here to here. Yep, it's in the water. <laughs> it's still working. Doesn't make sense, but it doesn't have to. And that travels up this into here. And then all through here. And they're all running. They're all running and completely full. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's working. 100%. We still have to hook up this side for the rest of our power. Yeah, we're only getting 1350, so something is not working right. Shit, it just dawned on me. Just dawned on me. It is working. Twenty seven hundred. It's on two separate grids. Okay. Twenty seven hundred. It is working. <laughs> it's on two separate grids. If I hooked the grids up, it would equal twenty seven hundred. Dumbass. I guess I could do that, just to prove a point, I guess. I don't know. 
Um, I don't know. Right here is fine. Trapped inside. Okay. Twenty seven under, there it is. Holy crap. One more thing before we end this uh, episode. I need to overclock these a little bit. It's over here on the far one. Whoop, nope. Uh turn that off, please. We're losing coal on this far one. And that one. So we need to overclock a tad. In order to do that, we need to craft the hub. Which is right here, the hub. I don't know where we're going to put this thing. Not over there because it's loud and obnoxious. How about, I don't know, right here for now. We'll find a better living quarters at some point. We're just going to put it right here. There's a spaceship. Ada. So we need a power shard, I think. Probably a couple of these, I think. Okay. Come over here. We're going to overclock all of these. Both of these. Probably way too much. I'll do the math here in a minute. I just don't want those to crap out. Yeah. Okay. 15 per minute. So 15 times 18. Two hundred and seventy a minute. Everything should be fine. Those should never run out. Ever. Alright guys, well, there's our first one. Our first, uh... Factory. Whole generation. Everything's running smooth. It looks good. And, um... Probably next episode we'll do some building and make this actually look better. Put up walls and windows. Stuff like that. Catwalks, some railings. You know, aesthetically speaking, it's not very pleasing. So we will fix that. Anyways, thanks for joining me. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Wallpop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.